Hello everyone and welcome back to another route learning tutorial for Train Sim World 2. This is for the London commuter, or also known as the Bryson Main Line, or even the South Central Main Line. Um, yes, we're on the class 387 today. We're going to be doing Brighton to London Victoria uh, in a class 387. I've seen this striking red uh, Gatwick Express livery. Uh, the unit's about sort of five years old. I remember when these got introduced. It wasn't, yeah, it doesn't feel like that long ago, but yeah, it was around sort of five odd years ago uh, when we started seeing 387s on the BML. Anyway, uh, let's uh, get that on. Let's get into the cab. Obviously, go through the cab door. Got another service coming in on there. Yeah, we're starting from platform four here at Brighton. Right, first thing I do is get the fuses on. Obviously, slightly different in the 387. You've got the proper AWS uh, in the bottom right. Um, sit in the driver's seat. We're going to do the master key. Set that to forward. And then you'll get the AWS self test sequence. And you hear the person saying it's all clear. What we're going to do now is now we're going to open the door. So, door release left. And then, one thing very important. You want to set the headlights, so do day running. Which uh, you would only put it to night running. Obviously, if visibility was very low and you couldn't really see anything. Obviously, when it's dark. So in winter, you'd probably you know put it on half five or so, maybe even half four. Uh, it really depends on visibility. Uh, and obviously, if it's in summer, I believe it's after seven p.m. You have to set the night lights. And I, don't, I never trust the auto, so I'm gonna set that to off. Right, and let's get the doors shut. So door close. And obviously, if there was a red light ahead of us, we would set the DRA. Obviously, it's green. And yeah, 23 miles to Gatwick Airport. Let's uh, get that off. Let's do the bell as well. A little habit I have. Obviously, two from the guard. And then two back to the guard. I don't usually do that anymore. Anyway, let's pop into step one. And yeah, our journey today is just over 50 miles. Yeah, it's about 50 miles and three quarters so not too far and journey time is around 55 minutes but yeah, anyway our starting speed limit is 25 miles an hour which you should see in the bottom right of the, the screen the speed limit we've got the M obviously meaning main line also if you're on east coast by player it would say E well you would remember it does say E for obviously east yeah, 25 miles an hour at Brighton, but if you are coming out of platform 3, go around 20. As so you've got Lover's Walk Depot on the left. Which is always cool to see. Let's coast that. And yeah, we've got an 8, uh, eight coach unit today. Well, made up of two 4 car um, units. So obviously form an 8 coach. Next speed limit is 40 miles an hour. You can see the little speed board coming up here. And we'll speed up once we get to the signals, as you can see just ahead of us. Obviously, you've got to wait for the back of the train to uh, pass the speed board. So still going around 20, let's pop that up to 25. There we go. And shortly after this, there'll be a 75 miles an hour speed board. Right, there we go. Let's get that up. So going up to 40 miles an hour. As we make our way out of Brighton. Now you've got the 75 there. So you've got to wait for the back of the train to pass the marker. So we'll get to around 40. We might actually have already cleared it. Yeah, I think we probably have cleared it by now. Let's go back up to 75. You can see the line there on the left, uh, which comes out of Cliftonville Tunnel. As you can see it in a second, there's a the tunnel there. That's Cliftonville Tunnel. That takes you over to Hove. So it's pretty much a way to bypass Brighton. So going in and reversing or changing cabs and coming back out. Right, this is Preston Park Station coming up. Got about 60, but well, almost 60. Oh, yeah, you can see the speedometer, pretty much bottom center of the screen. It's nice and easy to see in this one. 
There we are, you've got Preston Park sidings there on the left. And yeah, we'll go up to 90 uh, just before Patcham Tunnel. So we've got around a mile or so, a mile, two miles to uh, Patcham Tunnel. There's the DSD. And there's the Withdean Stadium as well, see Brighton's old home. And obviously on the a on East Coastway you can see the Amex, which is the new one. And yes, yeah, so obviously the beep, 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 that was DSD. Um, when you hear that, it just means you haven't touched the controls in a well a certain amount of time. So if you're on Xbox, you'll press B. PlayStation would be Circle. And if you're on the PC, you'll press Q. Right, let's uh, coast that now. So put that two off. And here is Patcham Tunnel. So wait for the back of the train. It won't take long as we're going at 75 miles an hour. The back of the train should have passed it around now. So let's go up to 90. Let's get that up. But yeah, so you guys asked for a route learning tutorial. So I thought, why not? Obviously, probably in terms of route knowledge, this probably is my best route. I've played it for hours and hours on TSN. Well, hours on uh, TSW as well now. And obviously, being one of my local routes, uh, yeah, I do have a fairly good knowledge of it and the surrounding areas. On the right, you've got the uh, A23. I'll see the road and also another few things people will mention is key binds uh, you know what key binds should I use to do that and how do I do that if you are on a console I do highly recommend plugging in a keyboard it just unlocks so many more buttons and things you can do so yeah if you're on a console uh, do try and get yourself a keyboard and plug it in pretty much any keyboard will work but obviously do double check um, yeah, and obviously if you're on PC, well, you already have a keyboard. Um, so yeah, a few important keys are F1. F1 will turn off the HUD, so then you don't get any of the overlays on the screen. Um, what's another important one? Control zero. Uh, that will, if you're say going out for a walk or you're at a station, you went to get a collectible. If you press Control zero, it will take you back to the last cab you were sitting in. Um, and we're coming up on Clayton Tunnel now, which is about 2,000 metres long and one of the longest tunnels in the south. But yeah, going back to keybinds, um, Control Zero will teleport you back to the last cab you were in. Control Plus, that will um, change cabs for you. So if I press Control Plus now, it will take me to the rear cab on this unit and then press it again and it will sort of go through the train. Right, we're coming up on 90. Let's coast it about now. You can coast most of the way. But yeah, control zero is to teleport back to the cab, and control plus is to change cabs. I'm thinking of other important ones. Uh, Spacebar obviously is the horn, and N is the other tone of the horn. And then control one, two, three, four, five will all do different things to the HUD. Like if you don't want all of it off, you can just have certain bits of it off. And then doors, well, the left side doors are Y and the right side doors are U. Right, coming out of Clayton Tunnel, if you were stopping at Hassocks, you probably would start slowing down around now. That's the next station we'll be passing through. Lovely. Yeah, here is Hassock Station. There's DSD again. Obviously, the driver safety device. But yeah, we'll be passing through. Well, we've passed through uh, Preston Park and Hassocks now, and we've still got to pass through Burgess Hill, Withersfield, Haywards Heath, Balcombe, Three Bridges, and then it will then be Gatwick Airport. Obviously, these are the fastest services between uh, the capital and the coast on the line. Let's quickly apply a little bit of brake in there just to stop us going completely over 90. But yeah, it's about two two or so miles to Burgess Hill from where we are now.
And another thing you will notice about the line is it is bi-directional for, I believe, up to, from Brighton up to, I think it's three bridges. So trains can run on any of the lines in any direction. So obviously on this bit, if one line was shut, you'd be a bit buggered. So that's why it's bi-directional. But obviously above three bridges, it is all quad. So you don't have to worry about if one's shut, you can just yeah, go on the other one. Or the other up one. But yeah, if the up fast was shut, you could just go on the up slow. Here's Burgess Hill Station. There's DSD again. So from here, it's about not even a mile to Withersfield Station. Which is a slightly, well, less major station than Burgess Hill. And you'll also see the line come up from Lewis. So this is Kima Junction with the Kima branch. And obviously if you went down there, it would be Plumpton, Cooksbridge, and then Lewis. So if you ever wondered where the tunnel goes at Lewis on platform 1 and 2, or where the line goes through there, this is where it comes up to here. I think it's about 7 miles down to Lewis, if you're going down there. But yeah, here's Withersfield Station. And I believe at the moment, obviously this is still early on the release of the BML, there should be a whistle board around here. So I'm going to do the horn. And that is because in a second you will see a foot crossing. That may have changed in the last few years. That maybe it's now shut the foot crossing. <clears throat> but yeah, I think there should be a whistle board there. There we go. And from here, it's a, yeah, about 2-3 miles to Haywards Heath. And also the little white diamond boards you'll see on the side of the track, they are coasting boards. So if you're, you know, you come out of state, well, if the next station's your station, you see a coasting board, simply stick it in coast. You saw one just there. There's the DSD again. And hopefully we won't get stopped by a silent DSD. That is an issue at the moment. Coming up on Haywards Heath Tunnel, only a short tunnel this one. Just going to apply a bit of power as we have come down to around 81. Hayward Seaf has four platforms, obviously two of them being the loop platforms, and that's where you'll find the uh, dividing uh, trains and also the attaching trains. Yeah, Hayward Seaf Tunnel, and then you've got Hayward Seaf Station, still 90 miles an hour. Although if you're going through into the loop platforms, it comes down to 40 or so, so it's slightly lower. You can see the 40 limit there. Through we go. Cool. And we're now coming up on Copy Hole Junction, um, which here yeah, takes you over onto the Arding Light branch. Which we've just gone past it, actually. But yeah, that is the Arding Light branch there, which takes you down to well, Arding Light. And actually used to um, go over to Horsted Canes, which was shut, uh, I believe, in the 50s or 60s. I think it was 1958. Uh, yeah, it used to take you to Horsted Canes, but it goes down to Arding Light, there's a little freight area down there. But it's not too far to the Ouse Valley Viaduct now, or the Balkan Viaduct, which is one of the main architectural, you know, gems of the route. Also on East Coast route was the London Road Viaduct. On here it's the Ouse Valley. But yeah, across we go. It's a, it's an amazing viaduct. Some good walks you can do around it as well. But yeah, across we go. Still 90 miles an hour. Uh, and the next station along is Balkan. And I've heard a lot of people pronounce it as Balcom. Uh, no, it's Balcom. Balcom. Yeah, 
yeah, not too far to Balkham Station. Obviously, at the moment in TSW, there is no services which stop there. Um, but that's realistic because um, obviously we've only got Gatwick Express and Southern. So if we ever saw a Thameslink DLC, which maybe when you're watching, that has been one. Um, yeah, uh, there's no services at Balkham at the moment. But if there was a Thameslink DLC, then obviously some would probably be, be added in. And now about to pass through Balkham Station. Here we are. It's a lovely station. Nice little village. And the uh, station is very well looked after by, I suppose, a local association. Right, so it's not too far to Balkham Tunnel now, uh, which will take us sort of out onto the Three Bridges side. So we do need to think about coming down to 80. Not yet, though. Uh, not not just yet. We go around the corner and then into the tunnel. Yeah, still 90 at the moment. Let's close that again. Once you're in the tunnel, starts coming down to 80. So I'm going to start coming down to 80 around now. But this is Balkan Tunnel. There you go, now down to 80. Got another service coming through. Obviously a much shorter tunnel than Clayton Tunnel. This one. There's the 80 miles an hour board there. And I must say, this route is a fairly easy route to do Hudless. Uh, obviously, Hudless really does improve the way you play TSW. Uh, obviously, yeah, it makes it very much more realistic. So, yeah, I highly recommend trying to learn the route Hudless, which if you're watching this video, I'm guessing you are. But, yeah, it's uh, much better. And it's back up to 90. We're going to be going on to the up fast. Obviously, now the line becomes four tracks, and it's four tracks, well, all of the way. Uh, well, at one point it does get more than four, but yeah, four tracks all of the way to London Victoria now. Obviously, we're now in a much more busier part of the route where you get all the lines coming up, and yes, yeah, so it's much busier. Although, I believe they have been looking at trying to get four uh, tracks down to you know some areas on the bit below Three Bridges or below, you know, below Balkham Tunnel. There's not a lot they can uh, can do. Bit back up to 90. We have got a double yellow here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start putting the brakes on. Do step one brakes. Coming up on the Three Bridges Depot, uh, which is the Thameslink Depot, and also you've got the Three Bridges Rail Operations Centre. There's a whole you know high security area around here. Uh, actually got to go into the Rail Operations Centre on work experience, which was cool. So as soon as you are following a service along, probably uh, a service up from Portsmouth Harbour and Bognor Regis, or even Southampton and Bognor Regis. Put step two brakes on, the signal will be at the end of the uh, platform here at Three Ridges. Now I'll actually put it into step three. Just get us down to around, yeah, and put back to step two. You can see the red light at the end of the platform. Going to slowly sort of go between the brake settings. Now, whatever's more comfortable for you. Well, it looks like we do have a yellow now. We've got a single yellow, so we can't really go far. Um, so, yeah, just going to sort of keep it. Just going to coast it for now. Unless it goes to a double yellow, then we can uh, speed up. But yeah, if you've got a single yellow, um, yeah, just don't speed up <laughs> there's no point really you may as well let the train get a bit of distance ahead first but yeah that was uh, three bridges there uh, so you've got the Aran Valley line which um, goes off there and originally the uh, Worth Way 
on the, uh, I believe it was the Tunbridge Wells line. I sort of took you well to Tunbridge Wells. Obviously that closed in the 60s. I think that was 1968. I actually did a whole sort of um, project on it at college. So I should know it. That was a few months ago now. It is actually uploaded to the channel. I uh, just haven't made it um, public. Maybe at some point I will. So we've got ourselves a single yellow here. Possibly even a double yellow. Yeah, it's gone to double now. Let's pop that up. We should be coming into Gatwick, well, Gatwick Airport platform 4. Yeah, it should be platform 4 at Gatwick. Platform 7 is pretty much all of the um, southbound trains. Uh, southern ones. And realistically, Thameslink. Most of the ones to Brighton. Uh, platform 6 actually used to be the last um, platform. It only used to have 6 platforms until I think 2013, 2014. When platform seven was constructed, so platform six, I believe, is more of a sort of terminating platform now for the Gatwick to London Vic services, or the express ones. Still just coasting it for now. As there is one more set of signals after this one for Gatwick Airport, so at the moment it looks like we are going to have to wait for the service ahead of us. Which quite a lot of the time the services are running early, so might have to wait for a couple of minutes. Bringing the speed down, still 90. And obviously, a little note: we will be going on to the quarry lines uh, for well, the quarry line for uh, today's journey, as we are an express service. But we can still talk about the speed limits for the Red Hill line. Been stopped at this. Well, I've been stopped at this signal many times in real life, so they've got this spot on. Let's bring that down. It shouldn't affect us too much. I think we're due into Gatwick at 41 past, so we've still got a couple of minutes to wait. Well, it's a couple of minutes to go, and the station literally is just there. On the way up, you probably would have seen it on the screen. Uh, we did actually pass Crawley New Yard sidings. I was paying attention to the signals. You can see the train in our platform at the moment. So we've got to wait for that. A little bit more. Here we are. Yeah, you can see the 377. Doesn't look like it's leaving yet. Got a we've got a service coming out of platform 7 and let's bring that to a stop and when, whenever you're at a red light obviously once you come to a stop pop on the DRA that will stop you accidentally you know if I do the throttle now we don't go that stops you accidentally uh, well popping the uh, power on which obviously wouldn't be good if there's a red light in front of you right that's gone to a single yellow so we should be cleared into platform uh, four now here at Gatwick. Gonna get a little bit of a wriggle one. Then get pop it into uh, step three. But yeah, coming into Gatwick Airport Station now. I so believe this is the second busiest airport in the UK, but the station is one of the worst rated um, airport state. I think even the stations in general in the UK. It's not a pleasant station, but currently, as we speak, it is, it is undergoing a renovation. And you want to enter the platform at around 30 to 35 miles an hour. The brakes on the Electro Stars are pretty decent. And we'll be going pretty most of the way up the platform. There you go, I'm entering at around 30 odd miles an hour. Pop it into step one, put it into step two. And then you're looking out for the stop marker. Which for us, I believe we are going to the end of the platform. As there is no 8 car stop marker, so the nearest we can go to is the 10 to 12. And obviously this is still early days for the route on TSW. As I think on TS there was an 8 car stop marker. So that may be added in future, so obviously stop there if it is. Right, we can get the doors open. 
here we are. This is Gatwick Airport. We can see we actually have arrived uh, on time. And we drew out 42 past. And our next station stop is London Victoria. And I believe we drew that 13 past 1. So we can check on here. 13 past 1. Yes, yeah, it's one Mike 59. We got the green now as well. Right, I always close the doors 20, 25 seconds before departure. Obviously, to be a bit more realistic. So let's get the doors shut. I know I like doing the um, guard bell. So two from the guard, and two back to him. So there we are all good to go. Right, let's go. So leaving Gatwick Airport, it's around, I believe, 24-ish miles to London, Victoria. Although on TSW it does um, calculate, um, say if you were a, a bird or a plane flying directly to Victoria, it would be around 24 miles. But I believe in terms of track distance, it is slightly more. Anyway, let's get going. Coming out of Victoria. Yeah, in terms of track distance, I believe it would be around 25 slash 26 miles. Yeah, TSW operates on, yeah, if you were sort of a bird flying, flying directly to Victoria. The line speed is still 90 along here, so we are on the up fast at the moment. So you've got the um, up slow and down slow on the left, and you've obviously got the down fast on the right side of us. Coming up on Hawley Station. Which uh, there is only one service which stops here, and that's one of the sort of rush hour evening ones. But that's realistic, as in real life, it's only Thameslink services really which stop here throughout the day. But through we go. And yeah, our next change in speed will be 80 miles an hour, and that will be just after Ellswood Station. So yeah, we've got around 4 miles or so. So yeah, we will be passing a couple of stations, so we'll be passing Salfords and Ellswood. Um, so we won't actually pass directly through them, where we will pass, well we'll just pretty much go past them, they'll be on the uh, slow lines. Here's another service coming down on the down fast, there he goes. And obviously, yeah, once we do get past Ells, you'll see a split. Obviously, the Red Hill line will go off to the left, which obviously um, you'll be on. That will be services uh, for Red Hill, Merston, and Coulston South. Uh, and yeah, we get to go on the Quarry line, uh, which pretty much just bypasses all of the stations. Hence the name, the Fast Lines slash Quarry Lines. Here's Salford Station. as the DSD again. But yet, realistically, Thameslink train stop there. So if we uh, did see a Class 700 DLC in future, that's where they'd be stopping. Going up to 90 again. Yeah, it takes around 2 to 3 miles to get up to uh, 90 miles an hour. And that is a GWR service, so they operate Gatwick Express to Reading services. It's not too far to Ellswood. But I think on the TS version, Salford's actually did have the platforms there, but obviously that was based in 2012. Well, it had the platforms on the fast lines, but they were all sort of overgrown and abandoned. So it's like since then they have been uh, ripped up.
Right, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to coast it now. Yeah, just going to coast. I'm going to start coming down to 80 now. So I'm going to put up into step one brakes. Here is Ellswood Station. And if you were on these slow lines, the speed does come down to 75 miles an hour. So now down to 80. In a minute, we'll be sort of going off to leaning off to the right, and then we'll go through Red Hill Tunnel. So just coasting. There's no point speeding up to get up to exactly 80. As we'll be going down a fairly steep downhill gradient. And Red Hill literally is just up there. It's less than a mile or so from Ellswood. But off we go. And it goes back up to 90. Just pretty much for going around that corner. And yeah, back up to 90. Yeah, this is Red Hill Tunnel. So yeah, back up to 90. And it will stay at 90. All of the way to South Croydon, and at South Croydon it comes down to 60 miles an hour. But yeah, if you were on the slow lines, obviously you've got Red Hill, Merstham, Coulston South, they're the stations uh, which we'll be passing through. And it's, yeah, uh, 70 up to Red Hill, then I believe it goes up to 75, and then soon after that it goes back up to 90. And then once you get through uh, Merstham Tunnel, it then goes down to around 75 just before Coulston South. I'm sure we can uh, have a look at those another day, or the other line the other, another day. But you will see the slow line. The slow line's literally just over there on the other sort of tree line. It's not far from where we are. Yeah, 90 miles an hour through here, and soon enough we will be going into the quarry tunnel. Right, I'm about to pass over the M25. It's not this bridge, it's the uh, next one. And then we're sort of officially in London. But yeah, here's the M25 we're going over. Now we go into a bit of a cutting, and then it's into the quarry tunnel. Which is still 90 miles an hour at this point. And we do start going up, so uh, you will lose speed if you are coasting. Just applying a small amount of power to just maintain our speed. And you might hear me coming back between uh, notches just to try and s prevent getting a silent DSD. Um, as yeah, that is a that is an issue at the moment. Uh, that's not obviously how it is realistically. Obviously, yeah, very quick. Uh, and a lot of services uh, do pass on the quarry line. So you can see we saw three. Just going along that section there. Right, let's bring it down a little bit. We have uh, cheekily almost got above 90 there. And we're sort of making our way up, and we should be going over the Red Hill line in a second. There's the Red Hill line again. Sit down there. And I believe that that bridge there, just after it, does then go down to 75. Obviously, if you're on that line. Obviously, yeah, you'll see the speed limit on the right hand, or the bottom right of your screen. Yeah, you can see we have joined back up now with that line. Let me bring that down a tad. And on that line at the moment, um, you'll only be seeing the southeastern services, which are southeastern diverts, uh, which go you can drive from East Croydon to Red Hill, and you also see the Rygate services, which you can drive obviously from Victoria to Rygate. It seems I still have my Streamlabs alerts on, so you might have just seen, uh, yeah, someone, uh, pop, someone's name pop up there. 
still 90 at this point. Just trying to prevent that silent DSD issue. So yeah, uh, up to East Croydon, which is sort of the next major station hub. Um, we've got uh, Purley, Purley Oaks, South Croydon, and then East Croydon. Seems we are coasting quite nicely at 90 at the moment. I'm in fact, I'm going to get a little bit of brakes on there, just to get us slightly below. And you've got Stoke, uh, Stokes Nest Junction. Yeah, it's not too far along to Purley. I believe that's Reedham Station now on the left, I believe. So I'll see this for the slower services. Here's Purley Station. Through we go. And then once we do pass Purley Oaks, we will get a warning for the 60 limit through South Croydon. Um, so yeah, once we get to Purley Oaks, we will pop it, pop it into Step 1 brakes. Bit of 90 at the moment. And yeah, the FPS might be might be slightly lower now. Um, that's just, just the amount of trains. So we are playing on the PS5 version currently. So it's not too bad. Here's Pearly Oaks. And I'm going to pop it into step one brakes. So you can see we have got the warning board and we did get the AWS warning there for the 60. And I'm actually going to pop it into step two. Just to be on the safe side. At South Croydon, you get the line that comes uh, from East Grinstead and Uckfield. Which obviously from East Grinstead and Uckfield joins up at Oxstead and then makes its way to South Croydon. Here we are now at 60. As we come up to South Croydon. And the next speed drop is down to 45. And that will be just before East Croydon. And if you are... Uh, if, obviously, if you don't know what platform you are coming in on at East Croydon, if you see platform 1 come down to 30 miles an hour, pretty much that will be just after the 45. There's the 60 limit, and this is South Croydon Station. There's an AWS warning in there. Should be for the um, 45. In fact, actually, probably for the um, cautionary signal we have here. So it looks like we will be getting stops outside East Croydon. The signal blocks are quite small on this bit. I'm actually in East Croydon. There's the 45 limit. So I've brought that down nice and early. There we go. Seems like we've got a double yellow now. There's the 45. And if you are coming into platform one, come down to 30 miles an hour. So if you see platform one East Croydon, just remember 30. Because we sort of swing round it. And at the moment, it, the signal is suggesting we will be stopping at the end of the... Oh, it's gone to a double yellow, so we'll be able to go through without stopping. The next signal is just at the end of the platform. That should be a single yellow, I guess. Speed goes back up to 45, and soon after it goes up to 60 again. But it's got to keep an eye on this train ahead of us, which may cause us some problems. Well, it should be fast now to clap them if it's on this line. Just went for the back of the train to pass the 45, which should be about now. So let's pop that pretty much when you get to these points. Take it up to 45. That's gone to a double yellow again. You can see the little 60 board there. I'll slowly bring that up. We're not going to go and put too much power on.
Yeah, at the moment the speed limit is 60 miles an hour. This is where the other section of the Brighton Main Line goes off because it's got uh, two, well, it sort of splits off here. One section goes to Victoria, which is sort of the main one for, you know, Gatwick Express. Well, the only one for Gatwick Express, the main one for Southern. And then you've also got the other section which goes off, and that's sort of more for Thameslink. Right, we've got a green now, so let's go straight up to 60. Goes up to 70 very shortly. This is Selhurst, and you can see the 70 limit there, and obviously 40. The upper numbers for the freight, uh, yeah, if you're on a freight train, that's the upper number, and the lower number is for passenger trains. So that was Selhurst, so on the way up to Clapham, which is sort of the next major station. Uh, so we pass through Selhurst, it's Thornton Heath next, it's then Norbury, Streatham Common, Ballum, Wandsworth Common, and then Clapham Junction. Now at 70, it's just coasting along at the moment. Which, yeah, there are slightly lower FPS around here, um, but there's not really a lot. You can that's just the amount of trains and the amount of stuff it's loading in. Um, yeah, it's happened on the PC and on the PlayStation. So I guess unless you have a really super duper PC, you will experience lag around here. Nothing major though. Just a little bit of a stutter every now and again. So yeah, we are following that train. That will be. Well, if that's on our line, it will be a fast service. So if we stay at this speed, it should well just get ahead. Probably catch up to a, a, a catch up to a pack Clapham. So a Clapham, I'd imagine we'll have to uh, come to a stop. A green, lovely. Coming up on Norbury Station now. I'll put a little bit of brakes there. There we go. And the next speed drop will be at Ballum, where it comes down to 60 miles an hour. So there's not really many speed changes on this route, apart from you know, that's sort of the main stations. Uh, so yeah, as I said, it is a fairly simple route to do Hudless. Although on the slow lines, there are a bit more speed changes. But for the fast lines is um yeah, pretty straightforward. Pretty much what you've got to think is seventy through South London and then ninety um into the countryside. Sort of for the majority of the uh, speeds. A bit of brakes. Also I forgot to mention that Selhurst, you also get the Selhurst depot. Is one of the biggest depots in the country, I believe. Here's Streatham Common. And over the top, you've got the Sutton and Mole Valley line. Lovely. And I've sort of, well, we did break a little bit, but yeah, start thinking about coming down to 60 now. As the next station is Ballum, you sort of have to swing round the island platform, so that's why it does come down to 60. See, so yeah, I'm going to come down to 60 now. There we go, now it's 60. As we approach Ballon. Yeah, just past the 60 board now. And yeah, we come around the curve into Ballam Station. Which, yeah, you probably do have to swing around the platform here. Still got greens, which is good. Although I would imagine after Ballam, we might start seeing 
some adverse signals as obviously probably the servers ahead of us it's probably a southern service and pretty much all of them stop at Clapham Junction so right one's worth common is the next step we'll pass through which is just around the corner from Ballon Still 60 at this point. It'll stay at 60 until um, past Clapham Junction, where I want us to come down to 45 miles an hour as we go up onto the bridge to get over the southwest main line. And yes, as predicted, I think we do have a yellow signal coming up, and the signal blocks are very small here, so uh, as soon as you see it, start bringing it down. That's a double yellow. See, I've put it in step one brakes. See, that service is probably at Clapham at the moment ahead of us. A little bit more. See, we're going to be stopped just outside the station. And really from here, it's really whatever you're comfortable with. You know, if you want to bring it down even more, um, put it into step two, but I'm just going to keep it in step one for now. That's coming down quite nicely. And yeah, Clapham Junction, obviously the busiest station in the UK in terms of train frequency. Um, and yeah, you get the Southwest Main Line and the Brighton Main Line join up here. And after Clapham, they then go their separate ways again. You can see the red coming up round here. A little bit annoying we have to stop, but it's realistic. Um, this happens yeah, a lot in real life. The Gatwick Express doesn't have any exceptions. So you come up to the red and then turn on the DRA. Although now it's gone to a single yellow as soon as we bring it down. So now we can speed up. So the next signal is at the end of the uh, platform at Clapham Junction. So we have to assume we'll be stopping there. Don't assume the train will be ahead and you can just speed up again. So I'm just going to go at 25 for now. Yeah, Clapham Junction. So yeah, we'll come around this corner and then we'll be able to see the next signal. Yeah, it's a single yellow by the looks of things. Got another Gatwick Express service there. You can see Battersea Power Station. You can see the funnels directly in front of us. That's pretty much where we're heading. We're still running under a single yellow now. You've got the warning for the 45 there. So you're taking it nice and slow. But yeah, if you are enjoying the route learning guide, do leave a thumbs up and do subscribe if you do want to see more. Hopefully it is uh, helping you guys out. Right, that is now double yellow, so you can, yeah, you can, you can speed up a little now. And I'm going to go up to 45, which obviously will be the speed limit in a second. But yeah, you'll see the southwest main line goes off in a second. Obviously, that heads up to Queenstown Road, Vauxhall, uh, and then Waterloo, I believe. But yeah, that goes off up there. I'm now at 45. As we swing round up over onto the bridge. And our signal has gone to green now. I've got a feeling we might be going on to the um, line that takes us to the left here at Battersea. And yeah, we're passing, well, we won't pass through it, we're past past um, Battersea Station 
or Battersea Park Station. No, it looks like we are going straight on, so maybe that last service did um, what I thought we might do. Yeah, if you've got the feather signal, there, obviously the feather signal being the sort of the white dots at the top, or the white circles at the top of the main signal, it just indicates which way you're going. But it looks like the other one might have gone the other way. But here's Battersea Park Station, as we pass by the power station. I think we are doing at 13 past 1, so we are fairly early at the moment. We're about 6 minutes early. So this is we are going to be bringing to a stop. Yeah, this is London Victoria. Obviously, you get the Chatham Main Line, which has just joined up with us on the right. So that comes up from uh, Faversham and well, Chatham and all that sort of area. As we cross over the River Thames. Speed is, yeah, still 45. It comes down to, I believe, 40 once you get across the bridge and then down to 20 uh, when you uh, are pretty much on the doorstep to Victoria. There's the warning for the 20. And now I believe there is the 40 board. That does look like we do have a red light. So bring that down. And yeah, the 20 limit is on the signal, pretty much. You can see it literally attached to it. But yeah, that's where it comes down to 20 miles an hour. And be very careful coming down here as you are on, I think it's a one in, 164 gradient. So every 64 metres you're going down by one, which is fairly steep for a railway. So be careful coming up to this red light. As you've got the platform indicator above it, so that will tell us what platform we're coming in on. And yeah, set the DRA. Which will mean, yeah, if we try to apply power, we won't go anywhere. Although we will slip forward if the brakes uh, aren't on. But yeah, that's sort of the purpose of the DRA, to stop you, you know, having a little accident. Where you might think, oh, it's, it, you know, you might think, you might come back and think, oh, it's, 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 it's yellow, and then go, and then, oh, it's a red, and then, yeah, that's that. Okay, the little square above the signal should show a number in a second. I think it was either 13 or 12 we're due in on. Was it? No, 14 and 13, one of those two. They are the Gatwick Express platforms at Victoria. But yeah, 19 platforms at London Victoria, so it's a fairly large station. Obviously, half of it being the southeastern and half of it being southern. Obviously, southeastern get the much more nicer, uh, well, Gatwick Express, I should say. Southeastern do get the uh, much nicer part of the station with the original sort of you know building and the you know just the no when you think of a terminating station with a big uh, arch and all that's the southeastern side. The southern side was sort of tucked under and it's not as nice. Yeah, but we are due in at thirteen thirteen, so still three minutes until we're booked in there. So I'd imagine there is a. Another train in there at the moment. Yeah, we just have to wait for now. There you go, it didn't take too long. So it looks like that was our train in our platform. We're just blocking the route. So now we can get going. We're doing on platform 14. Yeah, only up to 20 miles an hour. You can see the 20 limit there. You still are on a steep gradient, so do apply some of the brakes to make you uh, make sure you don't go above 20. There we go. But yeah, coming into London, Victoria, our final destination.
yeah, I believe Gatwick Express do operate out of 13 and 14. Kind of cross here. And yeah, this is the not so nice part of the station. The southeastern trains do get a much more pleasant uh, experience at Victoria. And yeah, right up to the buffers. So I'll slowly start bringing that down now. And pretty much stop as soon as you can't see the lower bit of the buffer. And you should be in about the right place. Bring that down a little bit more. So you don't want to go speeding up to the buffer. Get a nice comfortable speed. See that lower bit there? As soon as it's out of our visibility, that's about the right place to stop. There you go, that will do. Here we are, this is London, Victoria. So you'd set the headlights off and set the taillights on. And that is that. That is the end of uh, today's service. So yeah, just over 50 miles, almost 51 miles up from Brighton. But yeah, <clears throat> hopefully everyone has enjoyed it. Hopefully it has helped some of you guys out. And maybe you can do the Hudless now, who knows? Uh, do pop it in the comments below what you thought of it. Um, and obviously if you want one for the slow lines or whatnot, do let me know and we can get that in or even for the Rygate branch. Uh, but thanks all for coming in. Obviously you can see how long it was there. Yeah, almost 51 miles, just over 50. Hopefully everyone has enjoyed it. Obviously you will find a link in the description to the Discord server, to the PayPal and to the merch store if you do want to help support the channel. And I hopefully we'll see you in the next one. See you all and take care. Bye guys. <laughs>